A new iPhone app has launched that claims to protect against sexual violence. The app, which is called Circle of Six, won the White House Apps Against Abuse Technology Challenge initiated by Vice President Joe Biden and Human Services Secretary Kathleen Sebelius. It's clear that sexual assault is on the rise, and in an effort called One is Too Many, Vice President Biden issued a commitment to reduce this violence going forward. And Circle of Six specifically is designed to make users feel safe knowing their circle of friends is at their fingertips. And Nancy Schwartzman, the co-creator of the app, is joining us now by way of Skype to talk about Circle of Six and the increasing dangers of sexual violence in young adults. Thanks for being with us today, Nancy. Thanks for having me. You're very welcome. Well, alarming research from the White House shows that one in five women between the ages of 16 and 24 will be a victim of sexual assault and dating violence. So how does Circle of Six hope to change this trend? Um, well, the Circle of Six app is really designed to meet young people where they are. And we know that young people are on their phones, and especially in college, your friends become your family and you have these really tight networks and tight friendships. Um, so we wanted to make sure that we could create a tool that was in, you know, basically at the fingertips of you and six people that you choose um, to keep you all close and connected to prevent violence before it happens. What we hear a lot from students is like a young woman will be at a party, um, she'll stay late, sure her friends will leave, and then she has to make a really hard choice. like. Mm -hmm. How does she get home at three o'clock in the morning? Does she walk outside and cross campus alone? Does she risk it, take a ride with a stranger that she doesn't really know? Does she crash out on the couch? I mean, we wanted to avoid those situations and keep friends connected to each other. Mm -hmm. um, another scenario that we built in to the app is, is one I think most women can relate to when you're sort of cornered at a party or at a bar and and you're sort of, you know, your friends aren't reading your cues. Mm -hmm. The person that's talking to you isn't reading that you really want to get out of there. And you just wish your phone would ring and you would be interrupted. So we kind of built that in. So with two taps, you can do that with your friends. So essentially, users can create basically these automated messages to send to, to their circle of friends, right? Well, the, uh, we built the messages for you. So they're pre-programmed SMS. Um, and we, we advise you to choose six friends that are close by geographically. And the number six is like big enough that you hope someone will be available, but small mm -hmm. enough so that these are really good friends to you. And there's three SMS messages built in. Okay, great. So how important was it to develop a, a tool such as an app that, that could be accessed so, so easily just at your fingertips like you mentioned? I mean, in some ways, it's amazing that there hasn't been other mm -hmm. anti-violence apps geared towards college students. It's a huge problem. One in five is, is a conservative estimate. And, um, you know, everyone is on a mobile device. Mm -hmm. And why not figure out a way to connect young people and keep them safe? Without, it was really important for us, too, without putting blame on potential victims. Mm -hmm. This is not about victim blaming. This is about friendships, communication, and harnessing technology for good. Mm. And I understand that the Circle of Six has campaigns on both Twitter and Facebook, which of course, that's where most young people are anyway. Yeah, we, we built in this integrated Facebook pledge. Um, at first it was, you know, pledge and say, I won't stand violence in my circle. And now we've expanded it to just, I won't tolerate sexual violence. And we have about 4,000 people that have already taken that pledge. That's great. So what impact overall do you hope that this app will have? I mean, there's so many, there's so many ways to fight sexual violence and we need so many different pieces of the puzzle. Um, our goal initially was to have 30,000 downloads within our first year mm -hmm. and we already have 11,000 mm -hmm. and we just launched last week. So I'm like, oh my gosh, we might actually make that goal pretty quickly. <laughs> Um, and sometimes people ask, oh, is this for, is this just for women? But we really want to raise awareness with this app too, because college, you know, in your little tight crew, my circle when I was in college would have been half guys, half girls, you know? So I think just even having men be part of the prevention and part of like, I'm going to look out for my friend and here's what that actually looks like. That means... When she calls, I'm going to be there. That means the third button is about dating violence. Mm -hmm. And just incorporating that into the app is a way for people to talk about it. It acknowledges that some of your friends might be in unhealthy relationships and you don't know how to talk to them about it. Okay. So we really want to open the channels of communication, raise awareness, involve men, and prevent violence. 
Absolutely. Well, how significant is it to you that, that Vice President Biden has endorsed this app? It, it's so incredible. I mean, for I've been working in anti-violence for over a decade, and he's always been such a supporter of domestic violence rights, victims' rights, and it's just awesome that he's embracing new media and technology and that, you know, we won the challenge. Um, it's really exciting. So, so how specifically are you working with colleges and universities to see that, that students are aware of this app? Um, well, we are doing a lot of promo. Um, April is Sexual Assault Awareness Month, so we're going to do like um, a whole blog carnival and get a lot of people involved on online with um, my whereisyourline.org mm -hmm. blog. And I tour, I go to a lot of college campuses bringing my film and campaign. Mm -hmm. So I've already been to Longwood, Virginia. I'm going to UVA, Amherst, Laramie, Wyoming, you know, kind of hitting a bunch of schools in the next six weeks. That's great to hear. Well, does the Circle of Six plan to launch on other mobile platforms in the future? We do. Um, I feel so bad because I know all those droid users out there <laughs> I'm, uh, fielding about 30 emails a day from them. Um, so, you know, this was a labor of love pro bono effort. So we're currently raising money to do droid and Blackberry as well. All right. Sounds great. Thank you so much for talking with us, Nancy. You're and we welcome. wish you the very best with, with Circle of Six. Thanks so much. You're very welcome. And if you'd like to utilize this app, Circle of Six can be downloaded in Apple's App Store. Reporting for Web Pro News, I'm Abby Johnson.